channel today i'm gonna be teaching y'all how to get that 90s effect on y'all pictures for free we're gonna be doing it using visco a while ago and i mean a while ago i posted a tiktok it was a 90s inspired photo shoot that i did around my house and everybody in the comments was asking what filter did you use how did you get that effect on your pictures tutorial tutorial and i just never did it because i was lazy but now i finally get to it i was trying to go for the 90s look but specifically the black 90s because you got two different types of 90s you got your black people 90s your will smith your tlc your Aaliyah, and then you got your white people 90s you got your djs and your stephanie's and yo what's that one girl name jennifer lawrence she's the girl from friends i was going for the black vibe i wanted the faded grainy yellow tint like the film look and i feel like i achieved it so i'm gonna teach y'all how to do that if y'all wanna learn how then stick around it's not hard at all and i'm not a professional so if it don't make your pictures look good and it don't come out good please don't blame me i'm so sorry i'm just telling y'all what i did and yeah let's get into it Y'all look, it's 111 on August 1st. How cool is that? Okay, so first things first, get the raw picture you want to edit. And we're gonna open Visco. Today I'm using this picture. I was gonna use the original picture that made the TikTok blow up. I don't have the raw version of that picture, sadly, but we're gonna use the same steps to get that effect. So first what we're gonna do is color correct. If you don't know what that is, basically it's fixing the exposure, the contrast, and just some of the colors in the picture before you actually put the effect on the picture. So if you using like an actual editing app for pictures like something that's not bootleg like visco you could do way more but since it's visco we kind of limited on what we can do so we just gonna make what we got work for my pictures i like them to be kind of light and not overexposed but i'm gonna raise the exposure because i want it to look faded in the end so we're just gonna raise it up just a bit not too much then we're gonna go to contrast and we're gonna up that a little bit because I want my picture I want the contrast is the contrast if you know what I mean all right that looks nice if something looks bad in the end we just gonna go back and fix it next I'm gonna go to sharpen because I want my picture to kind of look clear a little bit so we're gonna sharpen but not too much okay great so then we're gonna scroll all the way to the end to HSL honestly you probably gotta pay for this even though I said free it don't make that much of a difference but me I want the red in my shirt to pop a little more so I'm gonna bring that up I'm gonna go to the green because I want the green and the grass to pop uh i want it to look yellowish because i don't know that just gives me back in the day then i'm gonna go to the blue because the sky i want to be able to see that color so. so that's basically what color correcting is and that's what we just did to our picture this is the before this is the after not much of a difference but it will be soon let's get into the fun part we gonna skip saturation and tone because i think these pictures got enough color yeah see doing too much we're gonna go to white balance exactly now in the beginning i said i like a warm i like a warm tint to the picture but also like a green tint because it makes it i want a film look it makes it look like film and kind of like polaroid picture a little bit in my opinion in my opinion so we're gonna go to temperature and we're gonna drag it to the right we're gonna go 1.1 and then we're gonna go to tint down here and drag it to make it look green we're gonna do 1.4 then we're gonna go to big net i don't know how to pronounce that so and we're gonna use a lot of this but not that much actually we're gonna put it on 2.5 i think that looks okay then we're going to go to grain you might think why are you using grain because grain it could make it look cheap if you use too much grain you can low-key tell it was edited in visco but i use it anyway because i don't give a f we're going to put the strength pretty high but Y'all see how it say size? You can make the size of the grain big, but we gonna make it small cause I want it to have a gritty look. I don't want you to see that it's grain on there, but I want the picture to have some texture, exactly. So we are gonna make the size kinda small. And I'm gonna add a little bit of color cause you could add a lot of color and it'll, it'll look like that. That don't look good. I'm gonna add that much color. Next, we're gonna go to fade. Usually I don't put fade on my pictures, the fade effect, but I'm gonna do it because I did it last time and yeah. I don't want that much fade because look, if you put too much, like, it's going to make your picture look ugly. We're going to use like that much. After that, I like to go to the filters and see which one of these kind of give back in the day. A lot of these are good filters. Like if you want that old school, like look, I like this one and this one, but I'm kind of going to use this one just because it makes the picture look 
it make it look more bright because look at this picture okay i kind of want it to look like that a little bit because that picture is outside you can see a little texture it's like a warm tone so that's what i'm going for with this when i posted the tiktok i wanted those pictures took like these pictures but now I'm adjusting my setting just a little bit because now since it's an outside picture, I want these pictures to look like these pictures. At the end of the day, I'm still using the same steps. I'm just adjusting it a little bit because it's different pictures and it's different locations. So depending on what your picture is, whether it's like a selfie or like a picture somebody took of you, adjust it a little bit to make it make sense. You can do the same steps, but you could change a few things. Put a bit of that. This character, it really looked like it's adding contrast and taking it away. I put it back like that and then I'll leave that alone. Well, do I like that or do I like this better? I think I like this one better, bro. I'm using that. So after all of those steps, this is what seals the deal. We're going to go to blur. We're going to take this circle and make it big. Center it around the main part of your picture, whether it's your face, your body, whatever you want it to focus on. We're going to put it around that, right? We're going to take this and drag it down. Yeah, because we only want a little blur around the edges. And that right there, that seals it for me. Do you know why? Because if you look at old pictures, at least when I go on Pinterest and look at old pictures, the whole picture is never clear. It's always like blurry. So what I like about this effect is that it make it blurry, but like in a good way. Because look at them bricks at the left top. I love how they kind of blurry. I don't know how to explain it, but then look at the fence and the roof in the back. It's just, it's a slight blurriness. Then I love how I'm the main focus. Like. <laughs> It's just, it's gonna make your picture eat, bro. That's all I gotta say. It's gonna, it's gonna make your picture eat. So add that. And I really, actually, we're gonna make the circle a little smaller. Exactly. Honestly, this is a good picture from the brown brick house to the fence in the background. It just looked like back in the day. Not to toot my own horn, but I ate that ass. Anyway, so this is gonna be the finished result. But now that it's done, I'm gonna go back and tweak some stuff. Like the sharpen, I'm gonna take that away. I kinda like. Yeah, I think that's okay. I want it to look softer now that I see it all together. Uh, I like to go to FX sometimes and see if one of these grains add anything to my picture. I like this one, but I never keep the full filter on there. But I know how I switched the filter earlier to this filter, but I'm actually going to change it back to this one because I want my picture to look warm. So I'm actually going to change it back. So I don't have filter on it kind of changed it a lot but i will say this is the finished product after that you can go and press next and save to camera roll after that it'll save as a draft and visco and what i recommend once you paste it over all your raw pictures or whatever if you delete all your pictures after you get the edited version keep the original raw picture that you did that edit on so it could stay in visco any pictures you take in the future you can copy and paste the edit onto those pictures that's what i'll be doing i could do another tutorial if y'all have free pro because I edit some of those in Premiere Pro also. But majority of them I did it in Visco. And I did it with this. Um, and I did it like this. But that's basically how I do it in Visco. But alright y'all. That's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial. And if it helps you. Then go on and like, comment, and subscribe. Can y'all leave comments? Y'all don't be commenting. Do y'all not like me? Y'all said I'm annoying. If this video didn't help you at all. And it was effing trash. And, and your pictures didn't come out good. I'm so sorry. I did my best. But it's going to be the end of this video. Thank y'all for watching. Watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one and uh, peace.